We need help. I've been to 35 prisons across the country, but this I knew was historical. To be on a prison plantation, not just to perform, but to activate. Yeah, this is being called a powerful documentary. It's called Angola, Do You Hear Us? About a former plantation that is now the Louisiana State Penitentiary. And this solo stage show that was performed there. Now that same show is now here in Detroit. And the woman responsible for it, Lisa Jesse Peterson, sitting next <laughs> to me. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. How, where did the I, first of all, tell us what the show is about so people have an idea. So the show takes place on the visiting room floor of a women's correctional facility. And the protagonist, the lead character, Betsy Laquanda Ross, is going to visit her best friend who's incarcerated. So the audience is eavesdropping in on a conversation, conversation. in prison. Yeah, and the prison conversation that you had, you're talking to your friend, but it's like you're talking to us as well. Yes. You do characters, but you really dig into the mess that is uh, that needs to be reformed. Mm -hmm. And and with, with, what is it, 80-something percent of people in prison are African-American. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone, including myself, has relatives that are or have been incarcerated. Right. So it's something that touches the African-American yes. community, but your play gives it broader access. Enough of me talking. When did you come up with this, this idea? Well, when I was teaching um, incarcerated adolescents at Rikers, um, Rikers Island in Rikers New York. Island in New York. Mm -hmm. In 1998, I was a teaching artist, and there was a correctional officer who said to me, you don't know where you are, do you? And I said, yes, I'm at Rikers Island. He said, no, you're on a modern-day plantation. Yeah. And he pointed to the boys who were 16, 17, 18 yeah. years old. He said, that's the new cotton. They're the new crops. Yeah. And he told me, when you go home, look up prison industrial complex and to the computer, see what you find. And that sent me down the rabbit hole. And this is amazing because it's so heartfelt because you continually, it's multiple visits with your friend. Yes. And you let us in on that conversation that a lot of us have never heard. Mm -hmm. um, but also, your play went to several prisons. How many prisons have you performed in? About 35 pr uh, prisons and jails across the country. Now, there's a documentary, MTV Films, it was mentioned in, in Oscar Docs. Uh, but talk about this. It's called Angola, Do You Hear Us? And it's a documentary. As we look at this documentary, it's about you taking this to the Louisiana State Prison. Yeah. What was that like? Yeah, it was, it was absolutely incredible. Um, I had no idea what was going to happen, but I took the play um, to the, the men at Angola. And I don't want to give it away, but when I perform, something happened, which we did not expect, and that led to the film, the documentary that is now, um, that was shortlisted for an Oscar and um, is now on Paramount Plus and it's getting all of Amazon this attention. Prime, and Amazon getting a lot Prime, of attention. it's getting a lot of attention. And there's just moments in the play when you say certain things that I don't think people understood about prison. That prison sits on a former plantation, which is so poignant because yes. we're talking about free labor, we're talking about slavery, and the prisoners are that free labor now because now when you go to privatized prisons, you work for 15 cents a day or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really incredible. Where did you get all those facts and figures and have know that you have to have heart but also facts to go behind it. Yeah. Well, the research, when, literally, when, when the correctional officer back in 1998 told me to look up prison industrial complex into the computer, and again, this is before um, mass incarceration was a term that is now in the right. zeitgeist that we right. use, that sent me down the rabbit hole of doing a lot of research about the institution and the industry that I found myself in, and I just kept getting more information and more information. And as an artist, we're sponges, so I absorbed all that information and it came out into the play. Two things. First of all, there's a you hand out a pamphlet with questionnaires. You want to engage people with this. Absolutely. In the documentary, you said activate. I've heard of plays with purpose. This is truly that. What do you wish to happen with this play? Well, I do hope to inspire um, and to activate 
um, empathy, compassion, uh, to humanize the numbers that are statistics that um, can easily just become numbers, but they're actually human beings behind every number, um, to make people laugh, and to get people to think beyond what we know as mass incarceration, to activate imagination. Ah. What can we do beyond yeah. having a society where mass incarceration is normal? Because it's not normal. Last thing, the peculiar patriot. What does that mean? Interesting. Um, well, in the antebellum South, slavery was referred to as the peculiar institution. Mm. So I took the word peculiar institution, and since slavery has morphed into what we now know as mass incarceration, I took the term peculiar and um, I repurposed it. There's part of the play I love when you're doing. With your pants. <laughs> with your, I was like, okay. Do you hear people in the audience going, mm, or I was like, all right now. <laughs> yes, you hear us? I love that. All the Detroit, <laughs> Detroit? audience is yeah. the best. We'll holler at you. Yes, I love it. Well, you guys, you need to come and see this play. Lisa, congratulations to you. The documentary, Angola, uh, Do You Hear Us, is on Paramount Plus and Amazon Prime. The show, The Peculiar Patriot, is playing the Detroit Public Theater through March the 5th. For more information, Detroit Public Theater, that's R-E dot org. Go ahead with your bad self, Miss Lady. Thank you. Appreciate you. I really do. Great show. Great Aww. show.